So, EA has actually revealed the now Star Wars Squadrons, just as it sa they said they would. No delays. What do you know? They still exist in this world. And uh, we got the trailer and some other things, like a so short of short briefing. But we'll be taking a look at the trailer first of all, and here we go. <laughs> So that was the trailer for the upcoming Star Wars Squadrons game, and apparently it's launching this year, uh, in October, on the second second of October. I mean that's just what uh, four months, or a bit uh, between three four months. So yeah, that's not bad, not bad. And if we look at the here, we can see that a full gameplay reveal will take place on. Uh, June 18th or at EA Play Live 4 p.m. PDT whatever that is in GMT yeah and we'll take a look here at Game Reactor they say talk about uh, uh, let's see yeah here uh, Ian Fraser is creative director at Motive Studios we created this game for every Star Wars fan who has ever dreamt about soaring across the galaxy in their favorite starfighter. Through the collaboration of the teams at Motive and Lucasfilm, we've been able to create a high without this starfighter experience with an authentic storyline that invites Star Wars fans to explore never seen never before seen corners of the galaxy in their own ship. We're excited to show all this in action this week at EA Play, Play Live. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons puts you in the shoes of a New Republic pilot, and judging from the teaser release today, we can look forward to plenty of dogfights and more unusual battleships like Arquentens and Starhawk, okay, which we are sure the fans will appreciate. And I have also heard that this uh, will be in v have support for VR, so PlayStation VR and PC VR headsets will as I understand it, will be supported. Uh, this uh, was accidentally confirmed by IGN, according to a post they did. Uh, developed by Motive Studios, this game will include both a single-player story and multiplayer modes, with cross-play support across all platforms, and can be played in VR on PS4 and PC. And that looks... or sounds awesome if this is true and as far as i know it is 
because I've seen that also revealed at another site. I believe I believe Game Reactor wrote about that, but I could not see it here. But on another Game Reactor website, uh, the Swedish one, uh, because I can't find it here. Uh, of course, all of these links, the trailer, and all of this will be linked in the description below. So let's go through this a little bit fast here. Uh, protect the galaxy. Yeah, uh, never be ne uh, try as a team in known and never se before seen locations, including the Jazz Giant of Javin Prime and the Shattered Move of Galatan. I'm guessing that was the thing we saw in the beginning of the trailer. We go here. Let's turn that off. I'm guessing this could be it. Shattered Moons of Galatan. And then we scroll down here. Uh, Master Legendary Starfighters. Yeah, we'll be playing you be able to use the X-Wing and TIE Fighter. I hope there will be some more ships like the TIE Interceptor and TIE Bomber and A-Wing, Y-Wings and so on. Uh, the modify your ship, divert the power between its systems and destroy your opponents in strategic strategic yeah. strategic space log fights jesus christ that's a mouthful and uh, so there are some concerns that there will be micro transactions because of this because of the modify and customize your ship and i can agree with that it is a bit of a worry there uh, this oh yeah here it says star wars squadron is a virtual reality or virtual reality on PlayStation 4 and PC with cross-play support. I love that it's cross-play as well. That's awesome. Uh, back to the microtransaction thing. Um, there is that possibility that there will be, because this game is only, according to Game Director here, it will release on October 2nd for $39.99. So, uh, yeah. If we press pre-order here, I'm sure we will... I'm going to press PS4 because of that. Uh, let's see. Coming soon to the PlayStation Store. So I can't be able... I can't see the... Oh, here we see some pre-ordering bonus content. Imperial Flight Suit. New Republic Recruit Flight Suit. Eh. Oh, uh, so here we have some of the more other ships that we will be able to fly. Well, there you go. New Republic Star... Recruit Starfighter sign. Oh, okay. Decals. Okay, skins. Decal. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So we will be able to play A or use A wing, X wing, Y wing, and whatever the f hell this is. I want to say U wing because it looks like a U. You know. Tie bomber, tie fighter, tie interceptor, and whatever, whatever the hell this is. Yeah, that's cool. I love that. Uh, let's go back again, and again. Stay on target, Int compete in intense 5v5 dogfights, unite with your squadron to tip the scales in monumental fleet belt, and take off in a thrilling Star Wars single player story. I do hope that this uh, single player does have more than just the story, because I'm not sure how long a 5v5 dogfight will last in multiplayer. I mean, it's kind of one-sided. Even though it's very tactical and every match can be very different from another, I mean, it could be become very one-sided. Like, go into battle, fight, die or win, and then repeat. Uh, without any more modes, I am I doubt the multiplayer will be that... will be that much of a drag towards the... to buy the game. Though I am excited for the VR support and the story. Uh, yeah. And uh, this one also says that it will be coming to PS4 and Xbox One. And of course, uh, Game Directors talks about how they won't be surprised if it's announced for X PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. X, S, X. Wow, that's hard to say. But I will definitely be playing this on PlayStation 4, and hopefully I will have a uh, my VR headset ready to go. And uh, yeah, so what do you guys think about this? Is this exciting news, or are you worried about microtransactions? Will you be playing the game? 
with what console, what system what will you be playing it on? Hmm. I want the, I imagine the graphics will be look much better on PC. I wonder if that will be a problem. I mean, mouse and keyboard versus controller could that be a thing that uh, might give uh, the PC players a certain edge, maybe. Well, I'm excited none the least. So, put your thoughts in the comments below, and I hope to see you in future videos. Bye-bye.